Now I have my sample that I've sheared off the goat and it's still in its, its original architecture. I'm going to take off a piece that's about finger, finger width or thumb width and it's still in its original architecture and you can see the cashmere is kind of shrunken up from the end, the cut end. So I'm just going to grab all the guard hairs that are cut while holding onto the sample and pull those out. So this is poor man's de-hairing. I'm going to get enough of those out that I can see the actual end of the cashmere, where the cashmere starts. I don't have to get them all out. On the other side of the sample, just the ones that are easy, I'm going to tease these out. I'll hold the other end and I'll pull some of the ones that I think are not truly from end to end on the sample. So I get a sample that's spread out and I can see where the tips are and I can clearly see where the cashmere starts. And I'm going to lay that down on a piece of paper that is a contrasting color to the color of the cashmere. And I have my ruler here. So I'm going to lay that out and put my ruler to approximately where the cashmere starts and then look to where the cashmere ends. And on this sample, I would say that the cashmere ends at around 67 millimeters. Sometimes you can put your ruler on top if you're having trouble with the edge of the sample isn't as, as uh, demarcated. And you can start your ruler here and you notice my cashmere is still going, the majority of it is still going at around the 67 millimeter mark. 